Buildings and structures have always fascinated me, both as a source of visual beauty and as the end result of a complicated process that is challenging and rewarding to document. Contractors, architects, designers, tradesmen, all are of interest to me and all can benefit from video for marketing, sales, and training. Here are some samples of my work in this noble arena. The real history of SMC and Associates begins in 1983 at 1516 Country Club Drive, now the proud home of Vicki and Carl Warden. The house originally was a ranch style house and we thought we were going to remodel an existing house and we had a very pretty picture that our architect drew. And so Steve was given the task of having to make that pretty picture into a home. He said my recommendation would be to reassess this, tear it down and start from scratch using maybe a piece of the foundation here and there but that's it. So we did. So that's what we did. They listened to me and I, I believe that to this day they still think that that was the correct decision to make. Steve had to figure out how to make, how to build something. There were certain sections of the house that were not in detail. To watch them put the beams and fit all the heavy beams at the top of the turret was, I look at it and say, to this day, I don't know how you do that stuff. We love our home. Yeah. Absolutely love our home. For the contractor and the craftsman, for those whose challenge it is to create the very best, 220 University, the home of Nan and Chuck Geschke, was the ultimate test. It was a project that required a real team approach. First we had to put together the property. There was two separate pieces of property. One of the things about it was um, it was actually in Los Altos Hills. The Adobe Creek separates Los Altos from Los Altos Hills. As we walked through the house, it was funny, we were in the elevator, and uh, my father said to me, he goes, we weren't even gone through one floor of the house, we've only gone through the basement level. He's like, I have to have this house. So it was kind of funny, the whole design press kind of started at that moment. There were so many different entities involved, uh, different architects, different designers, a lot of different engineers. It was really, um, a very creative effort on everybody's part, including Wendell and, and Chuck, my daughter, myself, and Steve. Uh, we all sort of had input. From the stonework to uh, recapturing the era of the home to the inside moldings, the way we were able to really detail everything to its finest. It's just like a museum inside, just uh, something very new, unique and uh, it's nice to be involved with it. We worked uh, 14, 16 hours a day uh, together as a team here. It took that kind of effort to do the complexity of this project. In Silicon Valley, success most commonly occurs when vision meets flexibility. The ghosts of the dot-com revolution are not a new phenomenon. Those of us who have survived the booms and busts of Valley business life know that what goes away comes back, and that today's setbacks are tomorrow's opportunities. As a result, the Valley is a continuous chain reaction of construction, constantly remodeling, demolishing, and reconstructing to keep pace with the structural demands of this world, strategic partnerships must be formed between client and construction company that can anticipate both the frenzy of a growing market and the sluggishness of a recession, while still maintaining cutting edge professional standards. Hallmark Construction is dedicated to the creation of those relationships.
project managers can look at a blueprint and see the future. This is the Xilinx Building 4, the main lobby right here. Uh, out in front, kind of wrapped around this main column, is going to be a receptionist counter, a large radius desk. Uh, up above is going to be a large vaulted skylight. It's going to actually extend probably 10 feet above the roof structure that we see. It'll be a glass barrel vaulted skylight. This area off the lobby will be the main conference room. Uh, this whole area right about here will seat about uh, 200 people. Uh, I'll have uh, a lot of teleconferencing and audio-visual properties, projection screens, uh, control room, fairly state-of-the-art uh, audio-visual presentation room. This will be the serving area where the food is prepared and people actually order it and pick it up. We get out to about this column line out here and it'll actually be the seating area. From my perspective, I have to feel that I can trust the people that I'm working with because my job is dependent upon them providing what they have committed to providing in the time frame that they have provided. So with me, it's, it's trust. That's what it boils down to for me. I indicated to this person that I would feel comfortable doing a sizable interior leaving the country. He says, I can go away and give them a million dollars to spend of my money on an interior project and will be done exactly the way I would have. When I came back, any decisions that had been made would have been the same decisions that I would have made. And to me, you know, that's all the satisfaction that, that I need out of this. That's a pretty high level of confidence. To me, to have an organization that understands the, the value of relationships and understands their clients that well is, is, is huge to me. It's, you know, it, there's, um, to be able to have that feeling and that relationship, that's, 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 that's so successful.